we're going to make an inexpensive vacuum pump. Now, this is a compressor out of an air conditioner. And basically, I just cut it out, hook some wires up to it. Uh, I haven't yet finished that, but we're going to concentrate on getting the uh, strainer valve on there. Now, the mega line is where the uh, air will be sucked in, and the small line is where the air will come out. So, anyway, I have this strainer here. I'm just going to solder this in there. I'm not going to silver solder it because I know I, you probably don't have that uh, equipment available. Um, you could get a cap, cap that, and use one of these uh, bullet piercing valves and put that on there. Uh, any way you can to get a, a valve on there. So. But we're just going to regular solder this. Now we have to sand the inside of that a little bit. And I know it's probably not good to do that. And you might get a little grit in the compressor. But we're going to do it anyway. So anyway. We need to wrap our sandpaper. And kind of like a. Sort of a point on it. So we can get in there and sand that. So go ahead and push it as far as you can. Push up against the walls. Stand at the mesh again. This wall, stand this a little bit, this press. Now, I have another one of these pumps. And it was put together without any kind of soldering or anything. But I'll be honest with you, I don't remember uh, what kind of pennies were used. So anyway, you can look in that video and see how that one was done, which is totally different from this. Now, this was, I originally couldn't get this in here. So I just used the screwdriver and worked this around until it opened it up enough. Now, there's special tools for that, but... Okay, we're just going to flex this up a little bit. I'm going to start on the outside of this. Or, stand this a little bit. Okay. Everything's flexed up. I have that in. So I'll go ahead and heat that up a little bit and we'll just touch the solder in there. Okay. Just have to make sure it went all the way around here.
Okay, I think we got it good here. Let that dry. Hold on, I mean. Let that harden. Last thing we want to do is touch it what before it closed down. We don't want to disrupt it. Okay. Let's clean that up. Okay, I'm pretty sure we have a our fitting on there and hopefully no leak. Looks like the sort of went all the way around. So there you have it. I have a set of gauges here. Out of curiosity, let's just throw them on. See if it'll pull any vacuum for us. Okay, let's turn it on, see how we do. Alright, we are pulling down vacuum. Pulling a pretty good vacuum. I'm not sure exactly how deep in a vacuum this will go. But there is an easy way to make a vacuum up. So let's just pull it back here with a set of gauges. I was I would not try to install an air conditioner, central air, or nothing like that. Maybe if you're working on a window unit or uh, your car maybe, uh, any kind of hobby use. So it's working pretty good. We're getting a pretty good vacuum. I don't know if we're going to wait down to 29 or not. You would think just pulling the gauges down. Um, it would, but. But there you have it. There's our our vacuum book. Pretty simple to make. Compressor, under of an air conditioner or refrigerator. Uh, you gotta get a strainer on there somehow, solder it, uh, flare it. Uh, use any kind of finish you can to do that. Like I said, I have another one that has been made and it doesn't use any kind of soldering and I don't recall what finish were used. So
so you can look at that menu also. Okay. Well, we've done pretty good here. I'll close this up. We'll take off our hose. So there you have it. Our vacuum is hold. Now you can see it didn't pull down all the way, so like I said, hobby use only. If you allow moisture in your system uh, with either R22, if you leave it in 410, a 410A system, it'll wipe your system out. So I also use this as a compressor. So basically I have uh, this in here to let the air out. But I also use it as a, uh, a little compressor to pump up tires or inflate basketballs or pump balls or whatever, bicycle tires. So anyway, it's a good way to recycle something that's going to get thrown out. And it's a lot cheaper than, than buying a compressor uh, for little use, little small things. It can serve as a little vacuum pump. You need to. One more look. You can see our gauges are still in the vacuum. But again, I will have to say, it did not pull it all the way down into a vacuum. So, to do uh, any kind of real refrigeration work, this isn't going to cut it. Um, it still leaves moisture in the system, so it's not it's not a good vacuum. But there you have it. How to make a cheap vacuum pump for hobby use.